Now we will take a look how we can use the second input here of the spectrum, which is the mask input. So basically the spectrum expects a volume of VDB mask and then in, uh, in the area where the volume has a value of one, for example, it will suppress or contribute the spectrum to our ocean. This is a really interesting function because it also works in world space. So uh, always remember that the spectrum itself is, is just a patch here. But if we want to mask out this spectrum, let's say in this area here, it also works because the, the mask is in world space and not applied to the original size of our spectrum and then repeat it over and over again over the whole ocean. Because that also was really uh, difficult in the earlier versions to mask out areas just in a specific part of your ocean. Because if you use the standard way, then it would repeat this uh, mask out feature again and again in every patch of your spectrum. So, really nice feature. Let's see how to use it. So we need a volume and uh, for sure we want to define this volume where it has uh, which values. So let's drop down a grid or better copy our preview grid here. Lower the resolution. And we will also tweak the size. So let's say we just want to paint a mask for this area here so we can reduce the size even more. To have more resolution to paint in this area. Okay. So let's say we want to mask out our spectrum just in this area here. So now we have our uh, mask grid and we want to paint onto it just to de define the area where to mask it out. Drop down a paint node, uh, change the brush size and apply a black color. So Let's say uh, this here is the area where we're going to mask out. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. So now we have the area where we want to have this mask active. Next, we need the volume. So let's drop down a volume node to create an empty mask volume and just connect it uh, here with our mask grid to have an initial size. At the moment it's 10 by 1 by 7, so just 70 voxels. That's definitely not enough. So change the sampling here to by size, but now <laughs> increase the value here. Otherwise the vol volume is really high res. 83 million voxels, uh, that's far too high res. Let's put a 2 here. Now it's down to, yeah, that's fine, 548 in one uh, in the X axis, that's totally handleable. And now we can use this volume from attribute node, which is really useful. There it is. So here goes the volume, here goes the attribute. We know we painted the color, so it's a CD attribute. Let's put it here, Oop, CD, and now you immediately have your volume generated in this area here. Okay, it's fine that it's just a 2D volume because our spectrum is also 2D. So simply connect it to the second input and let's take a look if our work has an effect. And yeah, it works pretty good. You see here this really flat area which was also in the reference images. So this mass feature and the other new ones gives you really full control to art direct your ocean. In the next clip we will take a look how to get a first rendering. We have to set up the shader, link it to the displacement, bake out the displacement. Uh, but this is also much easier than before uh, and we need to create an insight for our ocean. So we have a volume below our ocean surface that's really also important to get the right look in the rendering. See you in the next clip.